Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 021 already. On my website you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, well done, you should be very proud, possibly even hungry. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 021 task briefing. Maps can appear in the most unusual places. The figure below contains a chocolate bar featuring a map. Next to it, you'll find a satellite view of the same location. Your task is to A. Find the coordinates of the location seen in both images. I mark this exercise level as easy for both beginners and experts. If you felt this geolocation exercise was too hard for you, don't get discouraged. It's not a reflection of your skill, at most is a reflection of my ability to judge the difficulty of geolocations. You can click here to open the photo on a new tab. Here it is. It's slightly bigger, not much, but it's a bit bigger. And I mentioned before in the briefing, on the left we have a chocolate bar featuring a map. And yes, this was my chocolate bar. I ate it. It was amazing. I was very amused when I opened the packaging and saw how it looked like. I'm a simple person. I see a map, I geolocate it. And this is my geolocation. So I took a screenshot of the Google satellite image of the exact same area seen on the chocolate bar. Your task now is to find the coordinates to geolocate this as well. It was fun, so I wanted to share it. So let's just do it. To start with, we need to ask ourselves two questions, which will help the task at hand. First, what is this brand that decided to create a molding with a map for their chocolate bars? And second, and most importantly, why? You see, humans are predictable creatures. We are. You can try to claim you're random. You are not. I'm sorry. Our behavior follows patterns. And once you understand these patterns, you can predict actions. Everyone's patterns are slightly different, though. We result of our genetic predisposition and life experience. But there are a few things that we all do mostly the same way. So how would this knowledge help? Help with this geolocation. A person or a group of people chose a map for a chocolate bar molding. This is very unusual. Most chocolate bars do not look like that. The map is also very plain. There's nothing too striking on it. There's no interesting buildings, mountains, valleys. The winding lane here you can see is very likely a river as water tends to create this type of shapes on terrain. Nature moves and flows in a way that man-made structures don't. In contrast, we see this other line that crosses the river. Do you see how it doesn't wind around in the same way? You can tell this was a road before you saw it here on the right. We can also see there's some cultivation fields all over the shape which are near the water source, which is something that's commonly observed all over the world, where's water, there's life. So overall, this is a very boring map, like I told you. Why did a chocolate brand decide to put it on their molding? They probably did it for the same reason that we all search for our house the first time we use Google Maps. This is an important location to them. It means something to whoever created this chocolate bar. So let's start by finding who created this chocolate bar. So here at the top, we see some words. This is a great place to start. It says, do it right, do it right. It's not exactly an unusual sentence, but we can work with it, it's fine. So we can just Google that. We just Google, do it right with the quotation marks and the word chocolate, and I have copied there, and there we go. Let's find out. And now we're going to click images because we're looking for chocolate. I want to see pictures of it and look, what do we see apart from a, a topless man for some reason? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so what do we see? We see a lot of the same chocolate brand. Almost every result on that first line is the exact same brand, Puchero, which is very promising. And even better than that, and it's not a topless man, if you scroll all the way, it was much faster last time. Oh, you go. So if you scroll all the way, look at that, it's our map, look at that. You can see the river, you can see here the line that we know it's a road, and you can see here the circle with the do it right sentences. Brilliant, let's go back again. Okay, so we've established this is very likely Puchero, I'm sold, let's do this. So there are a lot of links here at the top to various places selling it, but we're not interested in that, are we? We need to get to the source. We want the Puchero website because we need to find a location that is so special to them that they would put it on their chocolate bars. So, okay, let's just Google that. We're going to Google Puchero chocolate. And this time, not on the pictures, let's get their website. 
There you go, top one, somospuchero.com. Let's check it out. Brilliant, so as expected, they make chocolate, we knew that. And if you hover some of them, you will see the map. So this is the front, the front, the front. This one show the back because they have something else on it. I will tell you in a bit, right at the end, which was the chocolate bar I ate because unfortunately it is impossible to figure out from my photo alone because you cannot see from here. It just shows something like that, but it's one of these. Okay, so for now, let's check it out what they have here to tell us. So we click on the About Puchero to see what kind of information they have to share with us. And if you scroll, it says we're Paloma and Marco from Spain and Italy after living in London, blah, blah, blah. So it's likely that the location we're looking for is in one of these countries. The rest of the text actually doesn't have any useful information. I read all the way. So let's check out that Get in Touch, which I saw there somewhere. Get in Touch. I love this section of websites because they very often have an address. I like addresses. Why search through maps when you can just copy paste an entire address, right? So let's check out what they have to see. Look at that. They don't even have an address. They have it better. They have a map. And this map looks very familiar, doesn't it? Let's just put the satellite imagery on. Here we go. I'm going to zoom out a bit because it's very zoomed in. And look what we see. Do we see a river? Yes. Do we see a road that crosses? Yes. Do we see cultivation fields? Yes, we do. How easy was that? Okay, so it is not rotated the same way as my photo, but that is fine because we can use Google Earth for that. So we're just going to click there, view larger map because it's going to open on Google Maps and that is what I want. And whilst we're here, we're going to check photos. So you can see there's Puchero, so it's their base. You know, lots of very nice photos, honestly. I wish I was there now. Look at that. Oh my God, how did that? So it quickly became clear to us the reason why they chose that map for their chocolate bars. It's where they're based. It's their house. As usual, humans are predictable. We make emotional choices. Now that we have the coordinates, so let's go back and I'm going to right click. So this is the coordinates. I'm going to go to Google Earth Pro and we're going to go straight to Spain. That's where that was. I don't know if I had mentioned that, but yeah, it was in Spain. So it was not Italy. It was not London. It was Spain. And here we go. Let me just zoom out again. And I am going to put this next to the picture so we can orientate this the right way. Here we go. It's next to each other. And by obviously by right way, I mean, you know, the way I had put. So let's just rotate. And here we go. More or less like this. Mm, maybe a bit like that. Here we go. Perfect. And it's done. An easy geolocation because humans will be humans. I hope you still had fun. I hope you learned a few things. Geolocations do not need to be hard. They just need to be right. And as promised, here is the chocolate bar I ate. It was the 55% chocolate with butter. It was so good. Oh my God. Anyway, to conclude, the coordinates of the map feature on the Puchero chocolate bar were this one's here. Thank you for listening. Have a great week. Eat some chocolate. It's amazing.